going on guys welcome back to mukbangs and hangs i'm your girl andy crimson and today we are doing dinner with wings and rings wings and rings is a buffalo wings place i have never really been into wings until like recently and i haven't been to this particular location and so long i think the last time i went was like in my early 20s for somebody's birthday and then the time before that it was a uh, celebratory lunch with my high school journalism uh, class. Yes, I was in the high school newspaper. I will tell you more about that later, but I wanted to showcase this for you. This is something that I've never had before. This is a double barbecue pulled pork sandwich with potato wedges. So let's get into it. Mm -hmm. I added Parmesan and garlic on these uh, potatoes. Let's see if I can get to show you all that. Check that out. Ooh, it's gonna fall. Yeah, not a good idea right now. But we can do a sort of thumbnail pose. When it said double barbecue, I was expecting a little more meat, but you know. And let's get a potato real quick. How have you guys been doing? Um, I know spring break just finished. Did y'all do anything cool? I haven't done a spring break thing since probably, again, high school, early 20s. Oh yes, these look so good. And it has been a minute since I've had potato wedges. And I got some ketchup right here. All right, I'm really curious about this sandwich. I don't normally, what is this? Is that an onion ring? <laughs> All right, we're going to get into it. First bite. Hmm. It has a good taste. Albeit, I'm not too um, used to pork. I usually tend to get for like um, uh, chopped brisket and stuff like that. But this is pretty good. Mm. Oh, there's an onion in here. It was a, it was an onion ring. <laughs> it's a little light on the barbecue sauce, but it's not bad. Mmm. Let's try a potato. I'm dying to find out. Here we go. Mmm. I love the garlic parmesan taste. Mmm. That first one was so juicy. Mmm, I love it. Let's see, maybe we can do like another thumbnail. The potatoes. Okay. Mm. Maybe I would have added some pickles. Can't have good barbecue without some pickles in your sandwich. So yes, I was in the newspaper. I joined the newspaper club in high school. Because I've always kind of dabbled in writing, but this was like a a different style for me. And I was still like very painfully shy. And what freaked me out about uh, being in the newspaper is that I had to go get quotes from people. I had to talk to people. And that was definitely not my strong suit. Uh, but I managed to get it done. I think I have all the little newspapers saved that I wrote an article somewhere in storage. But it was a really great experience for me. It was, again, as I said, like, helping me develop another type of writing. And I really loved my teacher and the kids I was with, they were, they were really good kids. Mm. Just gonna scrape up all this Parmesan. Mm. 
So spring break tends to get pretty popular around here just because we're so close to South Padre and I don't know if it's like two or three weeks people are down here partying, I guess because of the different colleges and stuff. I myself only went once like when it was ending and it was still so terrible to get on and off the island like the weight was horrendous and we didn't even do anything to be honest there's it's not real enjoyable in my opinion because there's a lot of craziness there's long lines everywhere it's crowded when i like to go to the beach i like to just relax you know have my space i love going in the off season Mm. And these are decent, decent sized potato wedges. Mm. So guys, I have to tell you, it finally hit me after, what, almost a month? Since my last, go since the Go Show I went to, I have post ritual blues. If you're new around here, you're new to Go's, you don't know what that is. It's when you experience the high of the Go Show, being with all your friends, hearing your favorite songs, experiencing Papa and the Ghouls. And then you come back to normal life, to civilian life, and just kind of go back to your normal day to day things. And you start to feel kind of depressed about it. Not not too terribly, like I haven't had that bad of an experience, but you just start to miss being in that atmosphere. And um, I don't know, I was watching some videos on Twitter today and I was like, oh, I feel it, it's starting already. Mm. Mm. And I know a lot of ghost fans go through this post-ritual blues. So I want to know, what do y'all do if you experience this? Or it could be with any concert. I know there's other fandoms out there. What do you do when you start to miss it all too much? You know, how do you take your mind out of, off of it? Do you avoid it for a good amount of time? Do you dive right into it? I want to know. Leave me a note down in the comments. For me, it's kind of like a drug. Like I'll watch those videos and I'm like, then I'll listen to the songs and then I'll just like dive into like maybe a, a creative writing project or an art project relating to ghosts to kind of like help me get through it. Um, but speaking of which, I've got some stuff going on behind the scenes and if y'all wanna know about it, you guys should definitely check out my Patreon and my channel membership just so you guys are on the up and up of what's coming next. Oh, look at all this. Cheesy goodness. Yes. Mmm. Oh, so good, guys. So good. I was gonna get these plain, but this makes all the difference. Mmm. You know what makes the ritual blues, I think, even worse, I guess, is that we've had such a, an amazing time with Empera. Um, Empera, sorry. I don't know why I said that wrong. And it's been really intense the last couple of weeks or so because we have all this content and it's kind of quieted down now. So that's why it feels even more like, oh, I need it. I'm fiending for it. And speaking of the album, I don't know if you guys saw throughout across the world, it's been way up there in the charts, number one in several countries. And in the US, I just saw today that it hit the number two spot in the Billboard 200, or is it number one? But anyways, they have like an amazing record for album sales, and I'm just so happy and so proud of them. It's really a great achievement.
And all I'm saying is, we need a Grammy. <laughs> we got one with in the Cerise Papa 3 era. We were nominated in the Perkel era. We need to take one home this time. I mean, I mean, it's an amazing album. I think it totally deserves one. This is a very um, soft sandwich. It's not too dry. I would have preferred a little more uh, barbecue sauce. And like I said, pickles. The onion ring was a nice surprise. I'm saving this, there's just like this one potato that's completely coated in the cheese and I'm saving it for last. Go out with the bang. These are like my new favorite things. They're so delicious. Coming down to the last bits here. Oh, there's some more meat down here. Cool. Mm. I'll say this also. The bun is really greasy. I don't know if it's like um a, a butter they put on there. Okay, last bite of this. Tiny, tiny little thing. Well, it got the happy dance approval, right? I'm in love with these potatoes. Mm. I don't know. I went in this with like no expectations and this sandwich has a spot surprisingly. I'm very happy with this. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for me. I have these two that I don't know if I should save them or eat them now, but let's go ahead and give um, the meal the rating. Well, let's just be honest, right? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I am, I'm satisfied. There were some things I would have tweaked uh, from this sandwich, but I'm happy. i am got a full belly now. Uh, yeah, I would totally recommend this. If you've got a Wings and Rings restaurant in your area, this was the double barbecue pulled pork sandwich with the... Uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> with the <laughs> garlic and Parmesan potato wedges. That is like a must. I have to say that. I'm, I'm going to get these like every time now if I ever decide to go back. Let me finish this one. We'll be done. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Oh, I don't know if I read this or interpreted it correctly. It was some interview that Tobias did and 
He said that they recorded possibly something else at another studio aside from the new album. I don't know if that part is correct, but if there is, I'm totally stoked because I think it would be nice to have some covers or something else on a separate EP away from the album because like I said before in the other video, the album by itself is perfection and I don't think we need covers on there. But let me know you guys' thoughts if you've heard anything through the grapevine and yeah, let me know your thoughts about anything. Did you like, did you think the sandwich was awesome or intriguing in any way or if there's anything else I should try from any other place? I'd love to hear your thoughts and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!